Welcome to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness Podcast, your host, Danita Young. And today's topic is about making those macros simple. I've heard it from so many of you that they're so overwhelming, they're so complicated, and where do you even start? And often things, I think the reason why there's confusion is because if you're coming in as a beginner, but then you are hearing something from social media of an expert, then it can feel like this vastly big space in between. And so it really, it's about coming down to meeting you where you're at and just first understanding what macros even are, what are those, and then starting to build up from there. So excited to go into it as um, we have a very special guest. Her name is Jamie. Jamie is one of our Booty Bands accountability members. And you're starting to see a behind the scenes of actually how I take her through understanding macros. And we get to work side by side with each other and learn the simplicity so we can really start to reach our goals faster learning macros. Let's get started. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one -on -one coaching. Awesome. So going over macros is, a, for me, I like to have things very simple because like you mentioned earlier, life happens. And so when you're having to count calories or try to figure out what to eat in the day, it's just an, another added task that can get to be quite of a headache, right? So common things that I hear from people is, wow, this is so much more simple. Wow, this is so much more easier. And isn't that what you would like as well? Yes. Cool. Yes, I hate counting calories. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm with you there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here so that we have definitely a better understanding. So as a reminder, these are all kind of like the little lessons and things like that, that we'll be going through each one. And so this one, um, you can actually get this in your app under the exclusive guides. And this one is called Mastering Macros. And so that's what we dive in into. And so first, um, just like to meet you where you're at as far as your knowledge with it. So what do you know about macros? Well, I know... There's like, well, or I think I believe there's like three main groups, carbs, proteins, and, and fat. So yeah, I know I mainly have to focus on more protein. More, okay. more my <laughs> there you go. Okay. So instead of this overwhelming food pyramid that had seven different things on it can get really confusing, especially when they were telling us that carbs needs to be the one that we need to eat the most. You're mm -hmm. having a realization that we need to eat protein the most which is absolutely the, the case. We Most of us women are protein deficient because we've been dieting for the majority of our life to try to shrink ourselves to weight loss, which we clearly, if it worked, we wouldn't be on this call today. So um, the, what I like is now using three macros, which is a very common thing amongst the fitness industry that everyone's gravitated because it's so easy to think of three rather than seven. So you're exactly mm -hmm. right. So carbs, protein, fast, and what macro stands for is macronutrient means the, the main means the majority like the main focus is really what it is so as you can see here that majority of these macros actually do blend into each other so you'll see here that there'll be like a, a carb and a protein or there'll be like a protein and a fat so depending on like what it is so for example an egg if you have an egg yolk in it the yolk is the fat and the egg is the protein so that's why you'll have kind of that blend usually Okay. So here's a very easy th three-step process on how to actually find out what your macro percentages are. So the first one is really what are the what's the goal? Your goal for every plate, if you look at it to be a hundred percent, you want your protein to be about 50 to 70 percent of your plate. Your net carb, which we'll go into in just a moment, was the goal to be around zero to 30 percent, and your fats to be about 10 to 30 percent. Where these numbers are taken from is any woman that's over the age of 30 years old, this is where her macro percentages should be if she's looking to sculpt and tone her body. Now, these percentages will be entirely different if you are 80 years old and you have a different goal, or if you're 20 years old and you want to run a marathon, totally different macros. But these are, again, very specific to sculpting and toning the body, getting definition and seeing a more leaner body, okay? Got it. So first one is sending your food pictures over to me um, for one week, just so I can visually see what commonly you eat the, mo the most. And now we're going to actually use those images you sent of, of how we can actually calculate it. So you ready to do that? Yep. We're going to start off at the very beginning, meaning like I'm going to do the first couple. We'll do, we'll do them together. And then eventually I'm going to get you to a point where you're doing it on your own. 
but it should actually be really simple. So as we break it down in just three steps, then it eventually gets to a point where we can do it in five seconds. Okay. But I'm just going to, I'm going to lay it out first. So we have that understanding. So when we look at a plate, we're going to do two different ways. One, just by visually looking at the food. And the other one is actually looking at the back of a nutrient label. So We're going to learn both of those techniques today. Okay. So the first one is I want to know what is actually the protein in it. So right here, I can see it looks like a bunch of egg whites, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What else would be protein in this? Uh, the turkey slices that I added. Okay. How many turkey slices do you think you added? I put two. And then how much egg whites do you think was in there? It was like a three fourths of a cup. Three fourths of a cup. Cool. And anything else as far as protein that could be like spinach or it could be nuts and seeds? I, I had spring mix in there. We had some spinach. A little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit still adds up. Okay. So spinach actually does have protein in it. All right. So now let's find our carbs. What would be the carbs in this? Um, the rest of the spring mix and the tomato. Yeah. So anything, vegetables, fruit, breads, all that type of stuff essentially is a carb, which is way different than our food pyramid, right? There was, it broke up those carbs into different categories, but yes, the yeah. carb is the, the veggies. I don't see any other carb in here. Um, the next would be fats. What would be your fats here? It's butter. So yeah, a little bit. Butter. Okay. Okay. So now the second step that. is we want to find what the net carb is. Do you know what a net carb stands for? Mm. okay i'm gonna teach you so carbs minus the fiber equals the net carb that's what that means what net carb essentially stands for is really what we count because mm. when the fiber is so heavily in a item such as vegetables it essentially cancels itself out therefore making it not even really a carb it cancels itself out so what we would actually look at is that there's really not many carbs in here. It'd be very, very low percentage. We're talking like maybe 5%, 1% of your meal, technically. Like it's really, really small as you overall. So that's the first step is finding the net carb. So then what we want to do is we just look and it should take within about five seconds. It doesn't have to take a whole lot because that's when we're just too much in the details and we don't need to become a master scientist on learning every single percentage. I'm terrible at math. <laughs> so I just look at it as an overall view of what the plate looks like. So I'm going to make a guess. Um, three fourths cup of egg whites, two turkey slices, spinach, and looking at the overall plate, meaning like as a whole, um, knowing that my carbs are like 5% or less, and the butter has got to be really small, I would have to imagine that this plate is somewhere around 80% or more with protein. Your net carbs has got to be like, really low, anywhere from five to 10%. And your butter has got to be somewhat similar, something really low, five to 10%, five, five, yeah, five to 10%, really, really low. See how quick that was? Okay. That's not brain yeah. surgery, right? So then we ask ourselves, mm -hmm. did it fit into the goal? So if our goal is 50 to 70%, did it fit into the protein goal? It went a little over, is that bad? <laughs> not bad at all. I mean, honestly, okay. this is totally fine to bump that up. I could even put a plus sign. To have more protein is not a bad thing at all. Let's go to the next one, a net carb. Did that fit into our goal there? Yes. Okay. The next one is our fats. Did it fit into our goal there? Yep. Okay. So this was not only like an A, it's an A++++ with your macros. Okay. So Got really it. gives you yep. confidence on knowing like what you're eating and how to eat. So let's go to the next one. Do you actually have this RX bar in your house by chance? So we can actually look at the nutrition label. Yeah, I can go get it. Yeah, I, I ordered one. Now we're going to learn the nutritional facts. So the other side of it, which will be cool. Okay, so when you look at the nutrition label, there's really only four things that we're going to look at. So what is your protein? The grams. Protein is grams, 10. Got it. And what is your carbs? Carbs, total carb, 29 grams. 29 minus the fiber. So how much fiber is in there? Uh, fiber says four. Great. So that's going to give me a total of five. Is that 25? Like yes. Losing my mind over here. Yes. Okay. And fats. What would be the fat grams? The fat, total fat says 10 grams. Okay. Great. So if I'm looking at 10 grams, 25 grams, and 10 grams, 
what do you think my percentages would be? I'm going to give you a little crack at it. Damn, I'm not, I'm not sure yet, but I, it feels way different than the other. Okay. Yeah. So again, we don't have to get our calculator out and do anything crazy. We can clearly see that the carbs is more than, more than double. Yeah. Right. So yeah. what I would, what I would do here is think maybe, let me just do a little 50%. Let's say this is like, let's see if this equals a hundred percent. Let's see. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah. So somewhere around, um, somewhere around here Way over. and I just kind of give it more like that. So that way, if you're kind of a little bit uncertain, I usually kind of go on oh, a 10, 10 to 20%. Like you don't have to be like a specific number, just kind of go into that. So then you ask yourself, okay, did your protein, did it make it? Mm, no. Okay. That's okay. Because guess what? In your first meal, you had an extra 10%. Oh, so keep that in mind. Instead of looking at what your body's going to look like in just this meal, your body is more of an overview of a day and your weeks and your months. So the fact right. that you had more protein in your in your egg whites or your egg white breakfast or lunch, whatever it was, now is going to help you balance this out. So it means that we don't have to not eat this RX bar. That's why this program really teaches food freedom is because we can learn to start to kind of manipulate it. So we know that we're a little bit low in our protein. We definitely know that we're a little high in our carbs and our fats is okay. So what we want to do with our next meal is which you did, you hired your protein and your vegetables to really equal this out. You balanced it by just making sure your next meal is better. What we could also do if we wanted to balance this particular meal, what do you think we could do to add something to this snack to actually balance it out? Add something that is more purely protein driven. Like a, I don't know, a protein shake or something like that. Boom. I have these yeah. at least once or twice a day because you're going to notice it's quite difficult to get up to that 50 to 70% in every yeah. single meal. Not every meal is going to be perfect like this. And so being able to quickly grab a protein shake would immediately have bumped this into a better ratio. So did I Got tell it. you that you can never have this RX bar again? <laughs> no. <laughs> thankfully because I don't kind of like it <laughs> exactly right so that's what's really so cool about it is you still can be able to enjoy the foods that you like but just be able to learn how to modify them okay so now I'm going to make you do this one so this one's your baby right here so let's do the first step which is what are the actual protein in this the protein I think it's the egg white the egg white part the turkey slices and the cheese i think although cheese is i think fatty too mm -hmm. um that bread is actually it has some protein like five grams i think um so yeah about that love it and then i also see a yolk in there so that will be our fat too right yes cool and the okay. butter i added a bit of butter yeah okay great Okay, so now we can, uh, next step is finding our net carb. So did this uh, bread by chance just off the top of your head, does it have higher fiber than just like a typical piece of white bread? It, it does, yeah, definitely. Okay. It has like so a say, bunch of seeds and yeah, I don't so, remember what it is though. Yeah, which is great because if those bread have a bunch of seeds in it, we know that seeds have protein and some healthy fats. And if it has a lot of fiber, it, the net carb of it actually will lower itself. So instead of looking at this piece of toast as one slice of toast, we can now look at it as like almost maybe like a three fourths instead of thinking of it as like a whole, you can actually start to, to okay. trim it down a little bit. So now that okay. we have that awareness and that really is our net carb. Now, how would you say your percentages are not being a perfectionist in five seconds, right. it's pretty easily to grasp. I would actually say that it's like 50 to 60 in protein or at least 50. Mm -hmm. um, the carbs are maybe 15% or something like that. Mm -hmm. And the fat is, I don't know, whatever <laughs> percentage is left. Yeah, it's kind of whatever's left. So we got maybe five. Five, five to 15 too, maybe. 
So somewhere around probably like 10 to 20%. Yeah. Let's ask yourself, um, did our protein fit the goal? I think so, yeah. Yep. Did our bread fit the goal? Yes. Okay. And did our fats fit the goal? Yes. Okay. So again, another A++. So now let's actually do a difficult one. You're being too much of an A-plus student over here. Let's actually find one. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being so perfect over there. Um, <laughs> man, you're eating really good. Okay. Man. Ooh, that one. Come on. Where's your, like, chocolate and sweet tooth and sugary snacks over oh, here? Oh, I actually, I, ha I have half a brownie during the weekend while traveling. And I was like, why am I eating this? But I, I haven't met a brownie that I don't like, to be honest. Okay, great. So without even looking at anything and just remembering that brownie, give me a, in a few seconds what you think the percentages of that would be. Honestly, it's like 60% carbs and the rest is probably fat. Okay. So, I'm not sure it has any protein at all. So why would we be- Well, maybe eggs. Okay, hold on. So my next question is, so it's really heavy in, in carbs and fats. Now, what can we do for our next meals or adding something to that brownie that can change the percentages? Oh, make the, the next meal very heavy, I would say. Um, or eat a shake with it, like a protein shake. I don't know if I have to eat the brownie, which sometimes I do. Which I do, too. I ha I'm able to. Have I feel horrible about it. I don't know why. It's because we've been living our living the past programs of the guilt and shame that have created a toxic relationship to food. So this isn't your toxicity to have. This is now your turn to give it back to all those fitness programs out there that have created this belief and now go into a new viewpoint of how we look at food. Now, it doesn't mean go eat brownies every day because that's obviously not going to fit into your percentages, but it allows you to be able to still have a brownie. But learn that your next couple of meals can actually still reverse your percentages for the day and you can still have a really badass day. But the common mistake that people have is they have something bad, they feel bad, the guilt and shame last longer like weeks and months and sometimes years of what that can do. It's crazy. I'll jump on a call with someone and they're like, I'm still thinking about that brownie and it was three weeks ago. And I'm like, when are we going to let that go? Because that is it's only going to hold you back. And so right now I want you to take this moment and I want you to release that. So speak to yourself right now, releasing any of that guilt and shame and moving forward. So what does that look like? If you were to forgive yourself, what does that look like? First of all, it will help me not feel like I'm going to quit the whole thing or like I'm not going to reach my goal. Honestly. Okay. That is huge, Jamie. Yeah. I had not realized that. I think I, I, I do that. Sort of like, oh, I ate the thing that I wasn't supposed to. So it takes me a while to recuperate and go back into the into my flow again. Exactly. And so being able to now find yourself in balance, find yourself in that flow. And if you have a brownie, no big deal. Add a protein shake or have your next meals be better. And start, do you feel the control? You can start actually taking over how you can look and feel and your relationship with food. Yeah. It's kind of, it's simple, but mind-blowing at the same time. Yeah. It's weird. I'm very, 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 very proud of you to get to, this is a really big moment. I want you just to take a moment and just feel that because that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of growth. And I'm really, I'm really proud of you for doing that. So keep in mind, anytime you send me pictures of your food, I'm not judging you. I'm not critiquing you. I don't care what you're eating. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to give you the knowledge so you can experience what you just felt right now. Awesome. Is it a way different than other programs you probably have joined? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even, even my own mind. Yeah. Crazy. It's time for your power back. We'll, we'll, we'll rebook our next call with each other, okay? Within one week. Thank and, you so uh, much. Yeah. Thank you so awesome. much. Yeah. You're Pretty so welcome. Exciting. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good rest of your day, okay? You too. Take Bye. care. So I have really never stuck with anything for more than six months until I found Booty Bands Barbell. It's life-changing. The progress over perfection mindset has been so life-changing. Have self-love and to have self-worth. I just do the 10 minutes 
and I'm already reaping the benefits. The workouts are fun and that they're effective. I have seen great results that I never thought I'd ever see. I love it because I'm keeping the weight off. We help hold each other accountable and stay committed to our goals. Booty bands and barbells has really changed my life for the better. I have to be real with you. The past six months really took a toll on me and my body. I felt incredibly stressed, isolated. After being a good 12 to 13 pounds heavier, I said that's it, I'm gonna make healthy choices. And I'm happy to tell you today that I am actually down 15 pounds. I feel amazing. I feel like I lost fat and put on muscle. I have a lot more energy. So it's never too late to start. You can take control again. Thanks, Booty Band Nation. Positive that you will get more sculpted, more toned, and you're gonna love those new healthy changes and our community and our coaches. From where you're at, no matter where you are, or how long you've been in the position. So just click the button below to book the call with our team.